This conference will okay. now be so, recorded. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this session. Uh, so first of all, uh, before I uh, talk about uh, the PI questions from uh, the soft skill uh, perspective, from the academics perspective and uh, from say the work experience perspective, let me share with you a list of uh, current affairs topics which you need to prepare and especially when we are talking about IAMs, when we are talking about XLRI, we are talking about uh, symbiosis colleges, we are talking about NMIMS colleges, uh, we are talking about colleges like IMT, IMI, uh, TAPMI, Kejasomaya, etc. Current affairs do play an important role. So you need to be aware of certain current affairs topics. Now, considering the time in hand, it's it's not uh, possible for you to read all the current affairs. So uh, have tried to put down certain topics which I believe uh, have a higher chance to be asked in your personal interview and uh, might be given to you in a WAT. Typically, they will not give you a very a current affairs uh, oriented topic for WAT. WAT is more to understand your opinion on a particular topic, your view, your analysis, rather than testing you at current affairs. So mostly we, we have found that in WAT, you will be getting generic topics, abstract topics, etc. And even if you get a current affairs topic, it is more about asking your opinion rather than asking you the details of that particular current affairs topics. But from the PI perspective, current affairs are very important, especially for the colleges which I mentioned, starting from your IIMs to Symbiosis to, to NMAT to Accelerai to uh, colleges like IMT, IMI, KJ, TAPMI, Great Lakes, etc. etc. Now, some of the topics, you know, I'll just uh, take you through this list. So, first four or five topics are focused on COVID. They have been asking a lot of uh, COVID related questions. Uh, you, I will be providing you a write up on all these topics over next five to seven days. So there are 32 topics which I have jotted down here, which you need to study. And uh, for these 32 topics, we will provide you write ups. Those write ups would be taken up from different articles and different blogs on the web but compiled together to help you so that you don't need to go through multiple websites for these topics, but you have a consolidated content on these topics with you to prepare. So first four or five topics as you could read are on COVID. Then uh, the next important topic is uh, Jammu and Kashmir's uh, reorganization, ban on uh, triple talaq, the, the mob lynching happening um, if, you know, every uh, now and then, then your India's exit from RCEP with, with ASEAN, decriminalization of homosexuality, consolidation in the banking sector. Again, it's a very hot topic even today uh, because of the different schemes which the current uh, government uh, keeps on bringing. Then uh, Ayodhya verdict, its implications, building of the Ayodhya temple, etc. Mission to Mars, uh, then the Modi care scheme, which is there. Then a very recent topic on the ban on Chinese applications and the job loss of Indians because of it, uh, data democratization and uh, data localization, water crisis, ban on single use plastic, NBFC crisis in India, climate change, again, a very hot topic. WhatsApp snooping and data privacy, a lot of, a lot of uh, issues happened uh, during you know, recent times around this. Uh, role of social media in Indian politics, it's, it's a very generic and evergreen topic. Uh, then cryptocurrency, again, a hot topic. Uh, then uh, is, is USA any more uh, to be considered as a supremacy in international affairs? Uh, I am 2017 bill still important because of the kind of its outcomes on students. So this is another uh, topic which would. Uh, yes, uh, Karan, I will provide this list in the in the WhatsApp group also. Beti uh, Beti it's a flagship scheme, so we, we continue to talk about it. Then uh, is GST really a one nation, one tax system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are the kind of topics which will be given to you. Now, how do you talk about these topics when they are asked to you in the interview? You need to include 
facts and figures in whatever you will talk about these topics that that goes without saying but when you are talking about these topics try to showcase or try to put forth analysis of these topics from different parameters now some of you might have studied in your graduation that there is something called pestel analysis and whenever you get a current affairs topic in your uh, interview and you are asked to share your view or you are asked to write about it or you are asked to discuss about it try to see that can you cover different facets of pestel analysis while you are talking about a current affairs topic what do i mean by pestel in pestel p stands for political view the political impact e stands for economic s stands for social t stands for technology l stands for legal e stands for environment there are two e's in this p e s t l e so p political e economic s social t technology l legal e e environment not every topic might have all these uh, six components but every topic will have at least three to four components of this and some of the topics might have all the six so whenever you are analyzing a topic talking about it try to put forth different facets what this does is this makes you come out as a very very well read person with a strong analytical ability see they are not asking you these topics just to check your awareness they have already asked you gk questions in the exam they are seeing that whether you have the ability to become a good manager or not good manager what he will do first of all he will be aware of facts and figures around any issue or any case uh, case study or a business problem which will come to the manager so you should be knowing the facts and figures of these topics second a good manager will be able to analyze the business problem based on the data in hand so that is where you will be showcasing your ability to analyze a topic based on pestel third the a good manager will be able to conclude without any strong bias and that is what you need to conclude while you are speaking about these topics and do not come out as a extreme rightist person or a extreme leftist person but a person who has a very balanced view a person who goes with a very objective view a person who uses data driven analysis and a data driven conclusion that's what you need to bring out of you when you are talking about any current kind affairs of topic in your interview or writing on any topic in your in your uh, wat or or say participating in a group discussion so that's what you need to remember i will be providing this list in the whatsapp group over next 7 to 10 days every day i will provide you the write up on two or three of these topics so that you have a consolidated uh, content on these topics i will provide you that so so there is no need to worry uh, i will also be starting to schedule mock interviews for everyone who is the part of gdpi course uh, from tomorrow you will get the schedule today uh, i could not share it earlier as i was traveling but uh, tonight i will be sharing it and mock interviews will start from tomorrow now coming to the other things which you need to prepare apart from current affairs you need to prepare academics anyone from 0 to 3 years of experience needs to compulsorily prepare academics very important only if your experience is more than 3 years then you can skip academics or say study academics less or or say for academics you can just prepare two subjects but if your experience is anywhere between 0 to 3 and this goes especially for people with 0 to 2 experience uh, years of experience also you need to be very very good with your academics you need to revise them you need to revise all the important subjects of your graduation kushbu so for example if you are coming from uh, economics or a commerce background you need to revise microeconomics if you are coming from say electronics engineering background you need to revise microprocessors you need to revise uh, uh, filters networks uh, you are if you are coming from computer science you need to revise your data structure dbms operating system etc so depending upon your graduation background you need to revise important subjects and and be aware of the questions around them 
they are not going to ask you in lot of detail but you should be knowing all the important things to a certain level to be able to talk about in the interview uh, for yes, everyone sir. who is enrolled in the gdpi course i'll be providing a gdpi course access tonight that will have a list of commonly asked questions from different graduation streams in case you do not find your graduation streams frequently asked questions in it let me know and i will get it added so so those set of questions will become important for you plus those set of frequently asked questions will give you an idea that what all subjects do you need to revise from your graduation it's important third work experience related questions you should be able to talk about the area you are working on if someone is a software engineer you should be able to talk about the technology you are working on you should be able to talk about the different projects you have been working on if someone is working in a digital marketing profile you should be knowing all the terms and the jargons of digital marketing world you should, if someone is working in advertising industry you should be able to talk about the different advertising campaigns your favorite campaign uh, your favorite brand etc etc if someone is working in an analytics role he should be able to talk about the different tools which he uses for data analysis data visualization etc if someone is working in consulting he should be able to talk about how what is the overall approach of a consultant how do you approach a problem how do you go about solving it so the point is you should be able to talk about your work experience not just just limited to your role but from the perspective of the overall sector in which you are working as well that is also important and that is also a way they are going to ask you your work experience related questions so that's again something important the flavor of this you will get when we will start off with your mock interviews you will get to know that what kind of questions could be asked from you uh, know from your work experience background so so the point is that work experience is critical academics are crit critical still a certain work experience current affairs and the fourth pillar of your preparation is soft skill based questions now in soft skill based questions there is a standard set of 7 to 10 questions which they will ask you in soft skill based questions first question is tell us about yourself now tell us about yourself question don't take it lightly but remember that it's a very very critical question in this question you are selling yourself tell us about yourself will either be the first question of your interview or it will never be asked so if it is asked to you use it as a as a mean to sell yourself you don't need to elaborate a lot on one point but you need to showcase your diverse personality your diverse skills and give the bait to the interviewer to ask you questions and that will be the way you will drive the interview in the direction you want if you will not give the interview good baits in your answers he will ask anything he want so the way to drive the interview in the direction you want is to keep on giving the baits so 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 tell us about yourself answer becomes important second answer goes without saying and you must have read at lot of places why mba will be your most most critical question it's a make or break answer uh, ideal length of a why mba answer is typically a 1 minute uh, speaking time and why mba answer needs to come out like a story it does not need to say please never say i have seen my boss working in a certain profile i i like the kind of work he do and that's why i want to do mba never say that i am my my current work limits my technical skills limits the area, scope of my work that's why i want to do mba no those are the and third never say that i want to become an entrepreneur that's why i want to do mba these three answers are a big big no your answer to why mba should be a story that tells me your journey so far and how during this journey your interest in mba or say your interest in management got its genesis how over the period of time it got strengthened and eventually when you decided that management is what you want to build your career in you did realize that you need to develop certain skills and that's where mba comes into picture where it's going to act as a bridge 
and uh, help you to achieve your long-term goals that's a logical story that you need to narrate in your why mba answer so so when start preparing your why mba answers i will be requiring them for for review uh, once i provide you the course access you will find a form a questionnaire to be filled in it you uh, you will be required to fill, uh, write down the answers to those questions i am sent to me for review other set of soft skill based questions are your long term goals your short term goals your strengths your weaknesses now again remember one thing i have typically seen that uh, people try to come up with a weakness which they want to eventually come out as a strength don't do that that is not required be honest we all are human beings you can you can write any weakness it does not need to be a professional weakness it could be anything it could be as simple as i eat a lot of junk food or i sleep a lot this can also qualify as a weakness to be told in your mba interview so you don't need to find a very complicated uh, weakness and i have seen you know a lot of people trying to come up with this weakness i i am very hard working i am very committed and if i see someone who is not uh, working hard i tend to get angry and i i tend to do his work on my own uh, don't try to come up with such weaknesses don't try to come up with a weakness where you say i am i am too much of a perfectionist no don't do, don't do all those kind of weaknesses let's 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 come up with a very simple weakness no need to complicate it no need to showcase weakness as a strength the purpose of your weakness question in the interview is not to reject you or to select you basis your weakness it is a question that is asked to you in the interview to see that how much do you know yourself as a person that is the objective so the moment you start complicating your weakness you start coming out as a fake person in the interview it's very important in the interview that no matter how much you have prepared your answers how much lies you you are telling in your answers you should be able to defend those and you should be able to come out as a true person you should not be coming out as a fake person and hence keep things simple keep things simple similarly if say someone of you some of you might be having low academics right some of you might have seen a drop in your academics if they ask you why low academics and suppose say in your 10th 12th graduation 10th was good 12th saw a huge dip and then you saw an increase in graduation if say this is a pattern try to try you know accept your mistake you know we we all make mistakes as kids you you can always say that you know you you just uh, you no know, could not focus well on the studies and the, eventually you could not score high but you realized that mistake and you worked on it you fixed it and eventually you were able to increase your score back in graduation so so that's an answer which which say a panel would like uh, to hear similarly if say someone is there uh, who has bad marks in 12th as well as in graduation you can say that uh, i could not manage my time well while in say you not know, in 12th i did lose my focus a bit and uh, maybe in graduation i got involved a lot in extracurricular activities and could not manage my time well to to uh, to do equally well in my academics as well uh, as well as i have done in my uh, extracurriculars but i do have uh, realized the importance of time management and how to balance the work and uh, that is why uh, post my graduation i was able to prepare well for mba entrance examinations along with doing xyz things in my life that could be work or anything else and i was able to score well and that is why i am sitting in the interview of your college that's how you should be able to defend your weak academics rather than say coming up with a lame excuse that i fell ill i felt sick or i got some personal problem no these people like you to be honest in the answers isha i will say anything less than it is typically considered to be weak so so typically it 80 plus is what is considered to be decent and they will not ask you questions around that or say generally you know they may or may not ask if your marks are in 70s but say if your marks are in 60s they will ask you okay so so this is how you need to be 
coming out in your interview then there are certain questions like uh, give tell us a situation uh, you know where you faced a certain kind of uh, ethical uh, dilemma in your life how did you handle it then say questions around your hobbies don't come up with five six hobbies come up with one or two hobbies but whatever hobby you come up with ensure that you are able to answer every question around your hobby that is very important so there is no point to come up with five six hobbies come up with two hobbies and ensure that you are able to answer the questions around them right that's important and when you are giving answers in your interview especially when you are talking about your long term goals don't try to mention a designation that looks bad don't mention a name of a company don't mention uh, the sector but try to talk about in your long term goals the kind of value you would want to bring as a professional as a senior professional to the table for the organization you will be working for see designations would change company there is no guarantee that the company you will name is coming for placements in the college you go or not similarly sectors keep on changing what does not change is the value you will bring to the table so in the long term goal always try to focus on the value aspect and not focus on designation or the company or the sector name these are few little things which you need to keep in mind i thought you no know, these little pointers will help you uh, today all of you will be get, all of you who have enrolled for the gdpi course will be getting the access to the gdpi course with with some of these things there uh, you will be getting your mock pi schedule today suprabho so, yes you can email me my email id is varun@karyarna.com you can email me and i will answer isha uh, building a resume is not important most of these colleges will not even require you to have resume whatever interview form you will fill that will suffice so uh, and we will be starting off with mock interviews from tomorrow depending upon the interview dates which you have uh, i will be sending you the schedule of your mock interviews and as i said from tomorrow every day uh, in night at around 1 or 2 am i will be sharing uh, the write up on two or three of these topics so that in next 7 to 10 days we can complete all these topics okay in meanwhile if you will have any questions feel free to whatsapp me uh, image will not be given himanshi it will always be the topic in this stage image is only given in mycat and that too also at the time of the aptitude exam if any college is doing your wat now it will be giving you a topic there is no vat in myca now it's already done in the form of argument writing and the story writing okay so i have typed my email id for the ease of all who did not have my email id we'll start off with mock interviews from tomorrow for everyone who is a part of the gtpi course don't worry about the number of mock interviews depending upon the calls we will have anywhere between 3 to 6 7 in mock interviews depending upon the number of uh, colleges you get the call from and how you are performing in mock interviews anushka in in the wat for symbiosis uh, if you are talking about simc yes uh, the topic uh, could be media based if you are uh, there for simc but if you are talking about say other colleges then it may it's it's not necessary that the topic is going to be media based sidtm will be a generic topic it it won't be specific to any particular uh, sector typically what i saw last year was colleges which scrapped ge they they brought in extempore but i guess at least embassies colleges have some kind of a group exercise uh, i will uh, try to get some information around this and uh, i will be uh, then helping you out with the group exercise inputs for embassies colleges because we'll have to figure out that how are how are they planning to do a group exercise remotely gd can easily be done so for gd the similar set of topics will come anushka as we were discussing here in the list
okay perfect in case you will have any more questions feel free to ping me anytime on whatsapp my replies might be slightly late but i will definitely reply and in case you don't get a reply from me in 10 12 hours please send me a reminder on whatsapp and i'll i'll ensure that i respond right so i'll ensure that all of you get or uh, extemporary topics i will share with you a separate list on extemporary topics forum i will share it with everyone extemporary topics will typically not be a, a current affairs related topic but it will be a random topic like uh, atmanirbhar bharat red blue uh wood or or say i could just say um uh no so so topics on these lines you know which which are more spontaneous and in extempore when you are participating in extempore you are not supposed to just uh, uh keep on talking about one one point throughout because say if i give you an abstract topic if i give you a topic like red you cannot elaborate beyond a point on one particular aspect of red so in that case you just need to keep on talking about the topic and uh, you can cover as many different aspects as possible so red i can link with love red i can link with danger red i can link with blood i can link with violence uh, no red i can uh, then there is a red sea so i can i can uh, red red is a color of a certain uh, flag red is a uh, red is a color of multiple things which i could talk about red is a soil also so so if red is a topic i could be talking about anything okay so abstract topics are what are usually given for your extempore or it could be as simple as my favorite leader my favorite advertising campaign my favorite uh, brand uh, my my idol or you no know, this could be anything this could be anything the only point is keep on keep on speaking if you are not able to think on a point for more than 5 seconds don't don't get blank and uh, try to overstress your mind to just uh, say in nahi i have to talk about this particular aspect only change the aspect that's very important in extempore that you keep on speaking in extempore you will lose marks if you are stuck and you are silent for a longer time okay i hope that helps uh perfect so we'll end the session now i'll share the recording of this session and i'll be sharing this pdf immediately you'll be getting the mock pi schedule today and uh, and we'll start off with mock interviews from tomorrow basis your interview dates great so thank you everyone for joining in case you will have any doubts feel free to whatsapp me thank you and good night